Hello and welcome to Cray TV. How are you all doing? Well, during this quarantine time, this lockdown time, we all are, must be craving something that we used to enjoy when we go out, right? Do you really have to go to Philly to have a Philly steak? Definitely not. You can make it at home. So I'm going to show you how I'm going to make it here with all the ingredients which I have on hand. This is not the authentic version. This is just an inspired version of how we make Philly steaks sandwiches in this house. I ran out of dinner rolls or rolls, sandwich rolls, but I found an alternative which is pita bread. It does do the trick. So if you haven't tried that, definitely try this out. So for this, let me show you all the ingredients we'll be using and how much of it I'll show you as we are going along. All right. All right, so for this, I have a portion of beef, whichever one I had on hand. This is actually sirloin beef. My husband was really nice enough to chop it up for me into fine. Um, so that's this with a little bit of fat rendering through the meat. I have some frozen stir fry peppers, which is red, yellow, and green, um, along with some uh, onion as well. I'm gonna be adding extra onion to our sandwich. So this is frozen stir fry pepper mix i am going to be flavoring our beef with some indian spices so i have a little bit of garam masala a little bit of turmeric powder and we have garlic salt so in the garlic salt it already comes with a little bit of oregano and parsley so that's why i'm using the garlic salt and of course we're going to be making all this like i said i don't have the sandwich roll so i'm going to be making all this in pita bread we need that ooeyness coming through right so i'm going to use mozzarella in my household i could not or i cannot have cheese i am lactose intolerant so therefore some of my family members can enjoy so for them i'm going to be adding a little bit of mozzarella cheese in their beef and we need lettuce onion this is sriracha mayo you can buy this or make it at home and we need some black pepper so for this let's start cooking if you have an open griddle this will be perfect because you need to chop it up, do some elbow grease in there and it will be fantastic. So let's get this cooking going. On my pan, this is my pan that I can depend on right now, right? So on this pan, there's nothing in it, no oil, nothing. So whatever the oil and fat that is gonna come out of this beef, I'm gonna be flavoring my rest of the ingredients with that. So let's see how it all comes together, okay? Okay, pan is set. Let's add in our beef, all of it. This is two pound of beef sirloin which we have chopped up in a very sturdy spatula for this. So we're going to flavor our beef with a little bit of garam masala. We're used to that, a little bit of spice coming run through our beef. So I'm just adding a little bit of beef, a oh, little bit of garam masala in my beef along with a little bit of turmeric okay at this stage we'll also add a little bit of our little bit means this is one teaspoon of garlic salt that i'm adding i added quarter teaspoon of turmeric powder and not even a, to a quarter teaspoon of garam masala let's mix it all together into this, let's add some seasoning. Okay. So cooking time varies. If you have your um, flame on medium high, this will take anywhere from seven to 10 minutes. And if you like your beef, well done. Definitely takes a longer time. But it all depends on you. How well do you like your beef? Okay. So for me, it's been 11 minutes and that's because there's a lot of fat. I was using sirloin steak here. So there's a lot of fat running in there and I didn't want that excess fat. So I did let that evaporate into my air. It makes the whole area smell so fantastic. Now what we are gonna do is, I had that one onion, right? So I, half of it is sliced in case if my salami wants to add more. I have a little bit of chopped up, which I'm gonna add right now, half of that red onion. 
is chopped up and into our beef. Now we're going to season that up, just stir it a bit, and then what we're going to do is make sure the salt, the seasoning is all accurate up to your desire. So in case if you want to add more flavor, you can at this stage because that beef is just ready to absorb anything that you put into it, okay? And I added a little bit more garlic salt than I would usually do because uh, that garlic flavor really enhances this three steak for us. So that's why I did it. This is perfect. I'm going to go in with my frozen stir fry peppers, which is yellow, green, red, and uh, the white onion. So we're just going to go all in there. And we're going to mix it all up. And it's going to be fast, okay? Our gooey is coming together. Ooh, it smells amazing. And it looks even better. Oh my gosh, very tempting. Whew. This, you could do this ahead of time in case you've, not now, I know. I shouldn't encourage you to have a party. But when you do have a party, this is something that you can do ahead of time. And you can do this, okay, say if you are like me, I don't eat much of beef. You can do this with chicken. Hey, Philly doesn't have to be with beef, right? So substitute your desire so it's okay nobody's gonna get hurt by that is it are you hope not at least not for us okay so this is good we are going to toast our pita bread and i'm going to come back and show you how to put it together there while the beef is still warm we can add a little bit more of our or we can add our mozzarella cheese for i this is all i had on hand but the authentic recipe i believe it calls out for provolone if you have provolone cheese add this and it'll be such a gooey texture and then close the lid we are in business okay even if you don't have that when life gives you lemon we make lemonade out of it so this is what i'm going to be using for my recipe so let's keep going and i'll show you the next step so what i have done is warm up my pita bread on the griddle and i took one what we're going to do is load them up and I like some freshness in my filly so therefore I'm adding a little bit of lettuce and jazz it up with all our goodness the beef now if you want to you can definitely add more flavor how we can add sriracha mayo to this and you will be in business bud even if you can't have cheese, this is how we substitute with mayo and spiciness and you just toast it all together and then you take that one large bite into it and you are good to go. All right. So if you haven't tried this style, try it, especially when you have a game night or something. When we did back in the day, it feels like it's been so many ages or something. But when we, when we do have game nights, or kids parties or whatever we can do this on dinner rolls and it could be a sliders for your family and friends so definitely this is something to try out I wish you would do and give me a good feedback how did it turn out for you what kind of lemons did you have in to face and how, how did you overcome it so I would love to hear your feedbacks thank you so much to all those who have subscribed to our channel and if you haven't and still watching you naughty little one I know you Okay, please do subscribe and um, we'll see you next time, alright? Thank you, bye-bye.